Quebec? Marijuana. The biggest deceiver. In what sense? Well, when you take the other type of psychedelics, you're pretty well aware that they're powerful and they're going to make an action right away. And so you're leery and you're watching. So you can, in a sense, like, get out of it. But with the process we call marijuana, it's like it doesn't hurt anybody. It's a good feeling. It's an easy up. But to me, that's the deceiver because then you stop watching. You, you let your level of awareness drop. And in that dropping, your defenses, your own protection levels are down, and God only knows what can take place there. Now you might say, what about the person who uh, smokes marijuana is watching? And well, you know, there's all types of cop-outs on that. What about something on a more natural level like um, the mushrooms or the uh, uh, mescaline, peyote, that type of thing? Those all have a level of consciousness inherent within them. And if you're going to do this, you'd better be under a master form in that level because peyote, the peyote consciousness, is a wicked son of a gun. Mm. It'll grab a hold of you and uh, you'll think you've gone seven ways from you know where. It's just, if people don't know, they should just stay right out of it. Uh, maybe in a hundred years, we will know all the scientific things involved in it. And there may be clinics set up where people can have that guarded uh, exposure to it where they can come out as a result feeling better and, and better able to give to society and to their own spiritual well-being. But these things have very little to do with spirit. Spirit must be measured with spirit and the physical with the physical and the psychic with the psychic and mushrooms with mushrooms. That doesn't leave mushroom for more discussion, does no, it? No, it doesn't. Not no. on that. Okay.